What I want to do is give you a summary of the universe and how the universe was constructed, but particularly how it relates to yourself and your own construction, if you like, your own creation. And then what is ahead of you as well. Uh, I want to talk about that too. So let's get started. Everything begins with... How many of you feel there is no such thing as a personal God? As a person, like a... I don't mean as a person like us, I mean as an entity. Uh, how many of you feel there's no such thing as an entity that has emotions and feelings and desires and passions that is God? Yeah. Do you view God to be more like the universe? Yeah. So, uh, sort of like a more impersonal viewpoint of God. Um, I feel like an energy. I think it's more of just an energy. Just an energy. Yeah. How many feel that God is just an energy? Quite, quite a number? Like. I mean, as opposed to something like in Catholicism where there's a strong male figure. Oh, yeah, yeah. But Obviously, that, um, he's not granddad, right? <laughs> Isn't that emotion, isn't that energy as well? Emotion is energy in motion, obviously. Yeah. So, so um, if God is love, then in all these emotions, then it's energy and vice versa. Well, let, let's look at the issue of wealth. God. Is God just love? Mm. Yeah. No. God is everything. So what's the answer there? Yes or no? Yes. Yes, God is just love, some yeah. feel? Yeah. And some just feel, love. no, he's not just love. Mm. Well, I'm going to say that... A, one of the attributes of God is love. Do you know what I mean by that? One of your attributes is love too. In other words, one of the qualities that can come from you is love. But it's not the only quality that can come from you, is it? What other qualities could come from you? Positive ones, I'm saying. All positive. Compassion. 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 Desire. Joy. Joy. Justice. Justice, yeah. Wisdom. All of these things can come from you, can't they? So you are capable of love, and you can give love and receive love, but love isn't the only thing you are capable of. Does that make sense? Yeah. There are other things too that you are capable of. The same applies to God. One of the biggest qualities that God has is obviously His love, or her love. But she also has a myriad of other qualities as well. Qualities that as yet no one in the universe has even, has even explored. Qualities that even the most advanced beings in the 22nd sphere of the spiritual universe have never ever explored. So there is this huge, God is this infinite being of infinite attributes and qualities. Can you describe your own feelings of what you feel that God is? Um, we would spend the rest of today <laughs> with my answer. And let's just start with two basic things though. The first thing that I feel from God is this aspect of Absolute truth. I call it his divine or her divine truth. You follow me? But do you know if it's a he or a she? Or do you feel that? Why do you say he or she? Then? Because there are times when the emotions I feel from God are feminine. And there are other times when the emotions I feel from God are actually masculine. So I know that God has both masculine and feminine qualities. Does that make sense? Right. So, the reason why I know that God is like that is because I can feel those emotions pass through me from God. And when you develop yourself in the way that I'm going to suggest to you, you will also feel these emotions pass through you from God. And so you will know the truth this way. And part of our explanation will be, how do I know that these things are true besides my personal experience? Well, 
the personal experience is based on emotion and passion and desire and longing. And when you enter into that personal experience with God, you will also know what is truth and what is not. Do you follow me with that? The way to determine truth is to, to actually maintain a permanent connection with God and through that connection, God will tell you truth. You don't need to have any other source. You think about it, this is exactly the same way that you tell your children truth, is it not? The way you tell your children truth is they come up, mummy or daddy, what's this, what's that? And you tell them what you know, do you not? Why wouldn't you, you, why wouldn't you expect God to do the same for you? How do you know that you're not just assuming something? When you think you know the truth, you could just, it could be an assumption. Uh, well, if, we, if it's intellectual, certainly it will be an assumption. Certainly. But the way we determine truth, which I'll go through later, um, is emotional and not intellectual. And it will not be based on assumptions. We'll talk a bit more about the whole thing first, the summary, and then we can ask these kind of questions.